G'day mates, it's Shot Muggy. Happy Sunday, Hero Nation. Coming at you today with my stat predictions for the 2020 season, Raiders defense. Okay, yesterday we did the offense. Hope you like that. Doing defense today. We're not going to do one for special teams, so this is it. I haven't included every single player, just those who I believe are going to have the biggest impact. And I got to tell you, looking at the actual stats from these dudes from previous seasons is a humbling experience. However, I'm incredibly, incredibly optimistic, okay, that this unit is going to gel together and do some great things. Some of the dudes who aren't going to get mentioned today, the role players behind the scenes, for example, Jeff Heath isn't going to be in there. Damon Arnett isn't mentioned. You know, our, our latest first-round pick corner. These guys are going to play a role. And uh, Cleveland Farrell isn't in this as well. Notable, notable exemption. But they're all going to play a role, and I think we have a really solid defensive unit. Maybe one of the best that, that Gunther's had under uh, under his reign here in the desert. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with our linebackers, Corey Littleton, okay, playing for the Rams. The LA Rams last year, 78 solo tackles and two picks, okay? He's like a coverage. He got some he got some QB uh, pressures as well, a couple of sacks, fumble. Uh, but I went with I went with tackles and ints here, okay? I'm going with stopping the run, okay? And and tackling guys across the middle and getting interceptions, okay? Now he is going to be like literally a, a three-down linebacker, and so is Kwiatkowski in my humble opinion who's the next guy we're going to have a look at. So what do I think that means for his stats, okay? I actually think Littleton is going to be great. I think we're going to get a lot of pressure on the QB, which is actually going to result in a lot of wayward passes. And uh, when a when it's QB, an opponent QB, is under pressure, he's going to look for a, a short, safe completion. That's where somebody like a Littleton can then make a really quick tackle, if not an interception or a pass deflection. So I actually think he's going to get 120 solo tackles and four picks. And he's probably going to be going to the Pro Bowl this year. And I think that's going to be our field general when it comes to the defensive side of the bowl as well, particularly on passing downs. So I'm looking forward to Corey Littleton out there in the desert. Knock on wood if you're with me, man. Going to do some wonderful things. Next up, Kwiatkowski. Already got a fan who's decided to put Kwiatkowski bigger than Ben Hur. Look at him. Fantastic. Love this imagery right here. Okay, Kwiatkowski lost here. Again, he's more of like a, a role player, right? But he's going to be a starter for us. Uh, 56 solo tackles and a pick last year. Still really, really solid. A little bit of a little bit of a fan favorite, a hero as well when it comes to the Bears. The Bears. Uh, those Chicago super fans right there. I think he's going to be on the field a hell of a lot. And again, I think he's going to have a really good season. Same reasons for Littleton. Pressure on the QB, okay, and, and good coaching, all right? And I think he's going to have 100 solo tackles and two picks. That's what I believe. I really, really do. Okay, I also feel as though he's faster. He's faster than the Madden ratings let him, let, lead, him to, lead you to believe he is, right? So watch out for this guy, Kwiatkowski. Solid European name right there. Love it. Oh, yeah. Tastes like tastes like a uh, couple of Team of the Week cards there right there. May, may not make the Pro Bowl like Littleton, but he's going to have a great season. Next up, the face of the defense. The second coming of Darth Raider, Lyle Alzada. Okay, Howie Long reincarnate last year. Look at this picture here. He's got, he's got, a, he's got a little bit of... A little bit of red wine going on the knee there. He's playing through the hit. Ten sacks, four forced fumbles last year, right? Phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal season, okay? E epic, epic pass rusher. I think Max Crosby comes along even more. He's going to pull like a Joey Bosa, which was year one to year two even more. I think he's going to be even more phenomenal. I think our coverage gets better. I think he's going to get a few coverage sacks, not just like beating, beating the blocker stat, uh, uh, sacks. And plus, I think... Um, Malik, Malik Collins, who we're going to have a look at in a minute, is really going to help that pass rush, okay? So this year, I'm predicting for Mad Max Crosby, 15 sacks and six forced fumbles. Pro bowler, maybe even all pro, maybe all pro too. Madam ratings to justice. You're going to be working overtime to get this guy up. That's what I think Mad Max is going to do, and I don't think that is crazy at all. All right, next up, Mo Hurst, okay? This dude last season, three and a half sacks, eight QB hits, okay? These are the two, sacks that I, uh, two, two stats I decided to focus on, which is really solid for a defensive tackle. 
Pro Football Focus had him rated as one of the highest defensive tackles of the last quarter of the season, last four games, okay? You know, and that was when we were trying to make a playoff run. Those were important games. We weren't out of it there, okay? I think he's going to start. He's going to go. He didn't really start last year, technically. I think he's going to be a hell of a lot more involved this year. I think we're going to be playing like a, a probably like a, a four, three, or, or like a nickel kind of package a lot of the year as well. He's going to be on the field an awful lot. And so I think Big Mo Hurst here, love this art, goes and gets himself five sacks, 15 QB hits. That's what I think this season is going to be for him. And I can't wait. And I think everybody's going to know his name. And I think he's going to go to the Pro Bowl. Likewise, who's he getting partnered with? Right here. All right. I like this image. This is one I try. Look. Look at this. A-Rod getting hit. Just murdering A-Rod, okay? He went really, really well for Dallas. He had four sacks and 10 QB hits last year. That Those are solid stats for a defensive tackle. This is one of the quieter signings, but I think he's ready to ball out for Raider Nation. I really, really do. Okay, his stats aren't going to improve, though, but his presence is going to be felt, and it's going to help Max Crosby and Mo Hurst, okay? I really, really do believe that. I think he's going to get three sacks and eight hits, but his presence is going to be felt. That is the most important thing. We're going to see a lot of this right here. A lot of A-Rod. Oh, we want to see that. We want to see the likes of opposing QBs with that look on their face as this guy, like, just murders them. Um, and again, I think we're going to go out with, like, a, a four-man a four, a four man front. It's going to be Crosby. It's going to be Mohurst, Malik Collins, Cleveland Farrell. And I think those guys are going to wreak a lot of havoc. But I didn't include Cleveland Farrell in this particular one. On to the DBs. Trayvon Mullen had one pick and 10 passes defense last year. Anybody who watched him saw him get, like, close. And he only got starts, like, down the back end of the uh, season as well. Saw him play. And, like, those 10 passes defense, there were a couple of times where he could have picks as well. You know, and, and I was sitting there watching him going, like, like dude, this, guy's, this guy is ready to break out. He's ready to bowl. And I think this is the season he starts, he starts cornerback one every single game and i think he gets four picks and 15 passes defensed i think that we see another five passes defensed okay uh we, we might even see him get to like 10 more passes and out of that he's actually going to come up with three more picks so i think it's just a chance of like uh honestly opportunity that's all he needs he just needs the opportunity to go against the wide receiver one from the other team and to do his thing i really believe this guy has a lot of football like high football iq and i think it's going to shine Love that image too, man. Love those fresh white jerseys right there. All right, next one, LaMarcus Joyner. Terrible last year. Absolutely terrible. Didn't like him at all. Have a look at this. Zero picks, three passes defense. Didn't like him one little bit. Not a massive fan. Uh, however, I think he's going to have an incredible season. This is why I think we're going to play a lot of nickel on third down especially. And I think we might play a lot of nickel no matter what. And I think he's going to be our starting nickel corner. So I went back and I had a look at his stats from when he was like really bowling out for the Rams. Okay. And I think this year he makes a massive comeback. And we actually see him go ahead and get three picks, 10 passes defensed. So I think he's going to have a great, great season. I don't think he's going to go to the Pro Bowl, but I think he's going to earn back his respect and his honor. And that's good enough for me. I can feel it, right? Here's our boy. Here's our favorite, Jonathan Abram, okay? Of course, his stats, zero picks, one pass defense, zero force fumbles, and he got injured, and then he's gone, and we lose him for the whole season, all right? This dude is going to be a thumper. Again, high football IQ. He gets to start at free safety, in my humble opinion, okay? Demarius Randall is, will be starting strong safety. We'll have a look at him in a sec. I looked at Jamal Adams' stats when I was deciding kind of what to focus on here. We didn't go with the uh, with the tackles. We went with the picks, the passes defensed, and the fumbles. And I actually have, I personally believe this guy hits just as hard as Jamal Adams. So yeah, I think he gets two picks, 10 passes defensed, and three forced fumbles this year. And he turns into a little bit of a field general for us and has a phenomenal season, okay? Then last but not least, I love this image, so I'm always using it. Demarius Randall, okay? Kind of nothing season last year for the Brownies. No picks, six passes defense, no forced fumbles, okay? He's not known as a hitter anyway. He's known as more of a, um, a, a, a kind of coverage safety, uh, good against the run, and, and also potentially a corner at times as well, all right? But this year, 
I think he goes ahead and he actually gets four picks, which was his which is career his career best, okay? And I think he gets eight passes defense, but also we see him in the silver and black finally get that first career force fumble. It's gonna happen this year for Demarius Randall. Okay, so those are my uh Raider Nation. 2020 season defensive stat predictions hit me up in the comments let me know what you think a hey, sub like notification all that blah and have a great sunday mates i'll see you soon Wow! hype there